Hi boys and girls. Today I'm gonna to be reading you guys a new story because we are off to a new unit. Uh, last unit we learned about colors. We read some great books about colors. And now this unit we're gonna be talking about shadows and reflections. And shadows, we talked briefly about shadows and reflections because we've seen shadows and reflections in the storybooks we have read. read. And shadows are so cool to play with and so cool to experiment with, along with reflections as well. So we're going to be diving into a little bit of both when we read these stories. So the first story I'm going to be reading is called Play With Me. And that is the title. And the author is Marie Hall Etz. She is the author and the illustrator. And what do we see on the cover of this book? Yes, we see a little girl, and then we see her looking at a frog. I wonder who wants to play, the girl or the frog? Let's find out. The sun was up and there was dew on the grass, and I went out to the meadow to play. Okay, so when the author talks about dew, dew means the grass was wet and um, it's all the, uh, the, air, uh, the water that the air collects from the night before, so the grass is all wet, all right? And then when, she, when they talked about her living in the meadow or play, going out to the meadow to play, it means she lives in a really grassy land. So not all the houses are next to each other. They're kind of far away from each other and it's just a whole field of grass, okay? A grasshopper, sorry. A grasshopper sat on a leaf of a weed. He was eating it up for his breakfast. Grasshopper, I said, will you play with me? And I tried to catch him but he leaped away. Okay, so here we are, we see a grasshopper right on the leaf. And do you remember we see those grasshoppers from the storybook, Rabbits and Raindrops, and how we talked about how they have really long legs and they can jump in and uh, they can jump really far, all right? And there's a grasshopper, he made a really, really large jump over here. He's leaping up in the air. A frog stopped jumping and sat down by the pond. I think he was waiting to catch a mosquito. Frog, I said, will you play with me? And I tried to catch him, but he leaped away too. Okay, so we can't see the pond yet, but the froggy, the frog was sitting right by the pond right here. And a pond is a small body of water. So it's not like an ocean. It's, a, it's, it's smaller than that. So that's what a pond is like, okay? And the frog, what was the frog waiting for? What do frogs like to eat? Mosquitoes. Those mosquitoes, we don't like mosquitoes. Mosquitoes are those little flies that come out in the summertime when it's really hot out and they like to bite us and it makes us itch. So we don't like mosquitoes. And like again, the frog took a giant leap, just like the grasshopper did. A turtle was sitting on the end of a log. He was just sitting still, getting warm in the sun. Turtle, I said, will you play with me? But before I could touch him, he plopped into the water. Okay, so we saw turtles in the other storybook that we read, Rabbits and Raindrops. And tur pond, there's the pond right here, and turtles like to live in the pond. And what did the turtles do? What did the turtle do when the little girl tried to touch him? He plopped. Remember the storybook that we read um, from the snowy day when Peter, what dropped, what plopped on his head? Snow, it plopped on his head, just like the turtle. He plopped into the water. A chipmunk was sitting beneath the oak tree, shelling an acorn with his sharp little teeth. Chipmunk, I said, will you play with me? 
but when I ran near him, he ran up the tree. Okay, so here we see is a chipmunk right here. Kind of looks like a squirrel, but they have a they have a black and white stripe on the on their backs. So that's what makes them look like chipmunks, and they like to eat acorns. They shell on them. They like to nibble on them. And we had to talk about what nibbling meant. Remember we talked about what the rabbits um, in the storybook rabbits and raindrops, um, how rabbits like to eat the eat the grass and they don't take big bites, they take small bites. So that's what he's doing. He's nibbling on an acorn. A blue jay came and sat down on a bow and jabbered and scolded the way blue jays do. Blue jay, I said, will you play with me? But when I held my hands, he flew away. Okay, so here's the blue jay sitting on a bow, meaning meaning a branch. He's sitting on his on the branch. And the blue jay didn't want to play either, did he? The little girl, she she just she can't find a friend to play with. A rabbit was sitting behind the oak tree. He was wiggling, and no, he, wiggling his nose and nibbling a flower. Rabbit, I said, will you play with me? But I tried to catch him, but he ran to the woods. Okay, so where did the rabbit run to? He ran to the woods. A lot of animals live in the woods. A snake came sneaking through the grass zigzagging and sliding the way snakes do. Snake, I said, will you play with me? But even the snake ran away down his hole. So boys and girls, what do we see right here in the pond? That's right, we see the little girl's reflection. And then what do we see over here? What, what, what animal is that? It's a snake. And remember when we talked about how snakes like to move in a zigzag? Yep. And where did the snake go down when he said, mm -mm, I don't want to play with you. I don't want to play with you. Where did he go? Down the hole. His home. None of them, none of them would play with me. So I picked a, oh, I'm sorry, boys and girls. So I picked a milkweed and blew off its seeds. So that seems fun. Have any of you boys and girls have done that before? Found those, found the, um, the milkweed plant. It has these, it has a white juice and the seeds, once you blow on it, all the seeds fly off of it. It's very fun actually. Then I went to the pond and sat down on a rock and watched a bug making trails on the water. So she's watching the little bugs making trails on the water. She seems very lonely, doesn't she? I hope she finds someone to play with. And as I sat there without making a sound, Grasshopper came back and sat down beside me. Then Frog came back and sat down in the grass and Slowpoke Turtle crawled back to his log. How funny is that? Why, do the, why did the author call the turtle Slowpoke Turtles? That's right, because turtles like to move very slow. So he called them a slow poke turtle. Oh, do you see the frog's reflection too in this? Yeah, then here's the little girl's reflection. There's the frog's reflection. And Chipmunk came and watched me and chattered. And Blue Jay came back to his bow overhead. And Rabbit came back and hopped around me and snake came out of its hole. So here comes the chipmunk and the blue jay and the snake came out of its hole. So all the animals are coming back. But who do we see right here? Let's find out. And I still sat there without making a sound so they wouldn't get scared and run away. Out from the bushes where he had been hiding came a baby fawn and looked at me. Okay, so that is a fawn, boys and girls, and that is a baby deer. It's called a fawn. 
He's so cute. Oh, and do you see all the reflections in the water? All the animals' reflection? I held my breath and he came near. He came so near I could have touched him. But I didn't move and I didn't speak. And Fawn came up and licked my cheek. That's so sweet. So animals, they kiss. That's how they start kissing. They kiss with their tongue. They don't kiss with their lips like we do, but they kiss with their tongue. They lick. <laughs> oh, now I was happy as happy could be for all of them, all of them were playing with me. The end. And that was a story about the little girl and her friends. And it was a great, I love this book because I think it's a great, great book that she found some animals to play with her. And it reminds me of some of you boys and girls that sometimes when you have friends in the classroom who don't have anyone to play with and it's nice that I get to see all you guys being such great friends and going over there and playing with them and asking to play with them. And I just, I love seeing that and I think it's great that we all play so nicely together. So there's a couple of activities um, I would like for you to do for the storybook play with me. Um, first, I would like for you guys to do a journal writing. And this journal writing is called My Friend. All right, and then down here, you'll see a sentence that you need to complete. It says, I like to play. And then you pick something that you like to play with. Some of you like to play with the magnets, the cubes, trains, um, dress up, with, and then you pick a friend, okay? So for my journal writing, I would write, I like to play magnets with Mrs. Castaneda. And I would draw a picture of me and Mrs. Castaneda playing magnets. All right, so that will be your journal writing. And then I like for you guys to complete a four square. We've done this many, many times with different topics. So for this four square, I would like for you guys to pick your favorite four animals that you've seen in the storybook. And here are the animals that you've seen. So here we have as a grasshopper, we have the frog, the turtle, the chipmunk, the blue jay, the rabbit, and the snake. So you're gonna pick four of your favorite animals and you're gonna write the word in these rectangles and then you're gonna draw their picture in these squares, okay? All right, so, and don't forget to color your picture as well. I would love to see all your activities um, on our at our Friday's Zoom and um, I can't wait to see you guys. I hope you guys have a great day and I hope you guys enjoyed me reading Play With Me to you guys. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.